Right then, welcome back to uh, uh, a little bit more looking at this uh, bell temp problem that we started on yesterday. Um, so I gave some formulas to the, the bell temp yesterday, and uh, so we had the curved surface area of the cone, the volume of the cone, the curved surface area of the, the cylinder, and uh, the volume of the cylinder. So um, yesterday's one. We just had to work out the area of the fabric. We look at the area of the cone and the area of the cylinder. We had our various values that we worked out, and it all came to 35.3 square meters. If you want to uh, look back at yesterday's video, that will show you how uh, I worked that out. But uh, uh, let's have a look at today's stuff. And today I want to look at. Um, we're going to buy a wood burning stove to fit inside the tent. I want them to know how much air is in the tent, so we need to calculate the volume. So we look at the, uh, let's draw a diagram of it again. So the tent is basically a triangle on top of a rectangle. If we look at it in 2D, it's a cone on top of a cylinder. So sidewall is 0.5 meters all the way to the top is three meters so going part way up that's going to be 2.5 meters so we need to know volume of cone plus volume of the cylinder Now, these two formulas, um, I'll say what they are, there's uh, one is uh, one third pi r squared h, and the other is uh, pi r squared h. The only thing is the h is different for both of them. So I'm going to say that the 2.5 meters is going to be little h, and I'm going to say the 0 0.5 meters, I'm going to call that capital H. Um, just to make this easier, so volume of the cone is one third pi r squared, and that'll be little h plus the volume of the cylinder will be pi r squared, and that'll be capital H. So the only bit I haven't put on here from the diagram is r. Well, the diameter is 5 meters, so r is going to equal 2.5 meters. So this first one will be 1 third times pi times 2.5 squared times h is 2.5. And then I'm going to have to add that to the volume of the cylinder which is going to be pi times r squared, which is 2.5 squared, times h, which is 0.5. So I'll just uh, grab my calculator and we'll work them out. So uh, one third times pi times 2.5 squared times 2.5 and that will equal I'm going to go for exact amounts so you could leave pi in your answer but I'm going to go for so that's 16.4 cubic meters plus and this one we're going to have pi times 2.5 squared times 0.5, which equals 9.81. So I'll just call that uh, 9.8 cubic meters, add them together. And we're going to have equals 26.2 cubic meters.
So that would be the volume inside the, the cone. So I was looking at this question and I was thinking, what else could I ask about the, uh, um, the bell tent? And I thought, well, I'm 1.9 meters tall. I'm quite tall. Uh, uh, it's about six foot three if you're working in uh, old money. So working out the uh, diameter of the base in which I can stand without my head touching the tent. So again, I'll draw a diagram to show what I want to find. So there's the tent. What I want is if I am 1.9 meters tall. Yeah, that's where I can stand. So I want to find that length there. Because in this bit, I've got to crouch down to the right as I've got to crouch down. In the middle bit, I can stand up. So let's have a think how are we going to do that? So let's go for it. This was 0.5 meters. So this distance is going to be 1.4 meters. So that's the first thing I'm going to work out. So 1.4 meters high. So I'm just looking inside the cone now. I only I can discount the uh, the cylinder now. I can imagine uh, I'm 1.4 meters tall and I'm only inside the cone part of the tent. And uh, then I'm going to work out this distance here. So let's have a think. How can we do that? So let's draw a, a triangle again. So, so that's 2.5 meters. That's 2.5 meters. If it was uh, all the way across and all the way up. And what I want to know is if this is 1.9, uh, 1.4, sorry, 1.4. How wide is this bit here? You can see they're really just uh, two similar triangles, aren't they? Or you could actually think of it another simple way is they're both, if this is 2.5, that's 2.5, that's a 45 degree angle because it's the uh, two sides are the same. So if these two sides are the same, if that's 1.4, this bottom bit here, which I'm going to thicken out, that's also going to be 1.4. So 2.5 minus 1.4 is basically uh, uh, 1 1.1. So this bit here is 1.1 meters. So the middle diameter bit that I can stand in is going to actually be 2.2 meters. So the middle 2.2 meters I can stand up straight in. And the remainder I can't. So let's have a look at uh, another one. I was looking at this idea. Now, it, could, it could have a teepee. Now, a teepee is going to go straight to the grass. Not, it looks a little bit like a bell tent, but it will go straight to the ground and it's not going to have that side wall. So, it's the same height and same angle for the side. It will not have a side wall. Calculate the diameter of the base of the teepee. So, if we look at it, basically what we've got. Is our same uh, same sort of shape there, but the TP is actually going to carry on. So the TP will carry on, and it will be a little bit wider. So what I'm trying to find is that diameter there. 
Well, in the previous question, I worked out that the angle is 45 degrees. So if this is three meters high, that would mean that uh, that little bit there is going to be three meters. So the whole lot is going to be six meters. So it would be a six minute to do the TP in the same sort of tent, same angle, have me standing up in the same middle bit, and it'll be a, a six meter diameter TP. Okay, and I think that'll do for the uh, Bell 10 question. Okay, thank you very much.